Hi everyone, Danamite underscore 41 here. I like to speak my opinions on the market and nothing I say is or ever will be financial advice, so please don't take it as such. Everyone say hi to Sam. Sam wants to say hi. He said hi back. He's actually letting me hold him for a while. He also looks like he's very annoyed. Okay, okay, I got you Sam. <laughs> he can only say hi to y'all for so long. So, anyways, here's a video. GameStop, how's it looking? We broke out of my bearish trend that I've had going on since... Uh, I believe the beginning of 2024, which is totally awesome because we've been going downward on a downward trend since then. And I have been buying shares since then, but also since like freaking years ago. So it doesn't even matter. But uh, we broke out of my bearish trend line as of Thursday and then we really got out of it on Friday. And then, uh, you know, stayed within this channel. We did break above my $15 resistance line, went all the way as high as I believe 1525, 1524, give or take. And then we uh, stayed within this uh, little channel that I have going on between $15 and $14. Now, what do I think is gonna happen as far as like uh, what the future holds for us? I am hoping that we either trade flat going into earnings, which is, you know, right here on the 19th, or we go down and trade into the 19th. Now, I will say, if we go up, that's totally okay. I'm totally down with going up. I will buy on the way up. I buy a share every day, so it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, I do these technical analysis charts, but I am an investor. I do not day trade. I do not do any of that options, calls, or whatever, puts. I don't do any of that stuff. I just buy into the stock every day. I buy at least one share a day. Sometimes it's two, especially if it's going down into the day. I'll probably buy more shares because dry powder is there. And you got to be smart about whenever you're investing as well, instead of putting all of the eggs in one basket, how about you put one egg at a time in that same basket? And that's exactly what I'm doing with GameStop. That's what I'm doing. I'm not promoting it in any way, shape, or form for anyone else to just buy into it. This is just what I do every day as an investor. But people think I'm crazy. You know, I personally think they're going to think otherwise down the road. But now is now. That's all that matters right now. And I do believe that quarter four earnings for 2023, as far as the whole, you know, prop being the whole year being profitable for 2023 is very, very likely. And we already see it coming. So it's just a matter of, you know, what will the price action hold for us? Maybe we'll get let down. Maybe on earnings, we're going to tank, whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, we've been in this stock before. We've been tanked on earnings day before. And then it sucks having to wait another three months. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm still in it for the long run. I trust RC. He has a $0 salary. He buys into his own company. Um, board of directors haven't even sold shares. GameStop is closing down stores with less foot traffic so they could bring more foot traffic to the stores that have more foot traffic in them already as it is. Their e-commerce or their online store is just like doing well. They have that um, basically same day shipping as well too. So they are now doing that as well too. GameStop is now doing same day shipping. They do digital downloads for certain games on freaking PCs. So I don't get why they think, oh, you know, physical copies are dead, this, that, blah, 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 the fourth. Well, they do both. So I really don't get why people have that argument of, oh, they only do physical copies. They only make money off of... Um, you know, accessories and toys and whatever. I don't really um, feed into that kind of stuff, but it's all BS. I don't know who's paying these people or I don't know. These people might just be misinformed thinking that GameStop is another blockbuster. Well, check this out. GameStop has zero private equity involved. They have uh, about $1.2, $1.3 billion on hand cash and they could utilize that to whatever they want to do and considering the fact that other companies are highly in debt while GameStop has virtually no debt says a lot about the management and how they just have all this money ready to invest or maybe grow within the company it's just like they could do so much with it they could do so much with it and people are doubting it so I'm here for it and I'm betting on RC to, you know, have a turnaround for the company. The company is already turning around. It's, you know, the SGNA has been going down over the quarters and profits have been showing, or at least um, they will show for 2023. And on top of that, liabilities have been going down while the value of assets have been going up. So in my opinion, we're making more revenue. We're lowering down the liabilities and we're just like pretty much you know, we're cutting out all the fat in the company. And that's exactly what we're doing to aim for the profits. And then 
turn those profits into more profits. So for people to sit here and say that GameStop is unprofitable is actually insane. But me and Sam know damn well that GameStop is going to be profitable for 2023 once those uh, earnings come out on March 19th. But I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Let me know what y'all think in the comments and I'll see what's up. Maybe I'll reply, maybe I'll not. Um, I'm usually doing other stuff. I'm usually pretty busy with other things. But regardless of the fact, I will still make that effort to respond. And I missed y'all so much. I'm sorry I didn't go live this week. I don't even have to say I'm sorry that I went didn't go live this week. But I just miss y'all. I was so used to it, but it was such a busy week at work. It was a crazy week at work, actually. But here we are now. It's a brand new day. And all we can do is just move forward with everything else. And let's hope for the best. And I hope that y'all take matters into y'all's own hands and take advantage of anything that's a great opportunity. Whether it's GameStop or whether it's your personal life or your professional life. Take advantage of all the opportunities that are granted to you or given to you or maybe the opportunities that you could earn and work for. But that's just my word of advice for the night on this lovely Saturday night, which I will be staying in, drinking on wine, and hanging out with my boy Sam, probably doing a little bit of homework on GameStop or real estate. But y'all don't really care about that stuff. It's all about GameStop, baby. Can't stop, won't stop, GameStop. I'll see y'all the next day, maybe on Monday. Who knows what's up? Either way, I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.